so I think Annihilator is just a mixture of the heavy metal, hard rock, and thrash metal that I, I liked uh, when I was younger. And just put it all together. Sometimes we come up with love songs and uh, ballads and instrumental things, melodic things, and sometimes it's uh, a bit angrier and thrashier than that, and uh, sometimes in the middle. So yeah, there was a gap there. I didn't think I was going to sing for this band again. I actually didn't want to. I was a guitar player first. Uh, but uh, I think what happened was, you know, people that know anything about the history of Annihilator, other than, oh, is that the band that has many musicians? Um, other than that, people know, usually m most musicians have been hired guys and we try to keep the, I try to keep the ones I like as long as I can. This time I had a choice. Do I go for another singer or, uh, just do it myself and I thought you know I think at this point I'd like to get in there. I'd, I'd already sang on the demos uh, for the Suicide Society record which I do on every album for, for the singer that we have to give him a guide or an idea of what I was thinking when I was writing the songs. So I thought well I've already sang on this thing already I might as well just do it again and do a better job on it. So, Alright here we go. This is a song that some of you might know from the Alice in Hell record. Taking, taking your way back this is called and you have to sing this again. Welcome to your... Three times, two left. Welcome to your... Welcome to your... first heard of Bach and that was a trip. The first time we played it was, was wow, you know, it was amazing. We played a few times since then and um, for me it's a little different. I, I've got to know the, uh, I'm kind of affiliated in ways indirectly and directly with the people that w work and run the festival. It's uh, kind of like, you know, what do you think of Bach? And it's like, well, yeah, they're friends of mine and yeah, we hang out. And, but if, yeah, the festival is just mind-blowing. I, I think everybody knows this by now. I don't think I've been there as a fan, so you get a different perspective as an artist. You show up in your bus or a shuttle, and you're really, you're really only focused at, you know, okay, where do we go? Our equipment, is it all there? Has the endorser's equipment been sent? Is everything working? Getting the crew up to speed with things, and they're asking us what we need, and the, the only real time you get to see anything is on the drive-in, when you're all excited. And, hyped and everything you're in the shuttle going into the festival. It just seems like every time you play there it's amazing no matter what. 
is happening. And, and it's because everybody feels the same way when they're there. It's not one of these festivals where people go and, oh, this year it was good and last year it sucked or wasn't so good. It's always good there. Most bands usually don't play summer festivals in Europe more than one in each country because the promoters, you know, if they get you for a bang your head festival, in, for example, in, in Germany, usually they don't want you playing any other festivals in Germany that summer. We got lucky, we're doing three German festivals in uh, maybe eight or nine days. I have no idea how that worked out or why, but it's a, a, a very lucky. We can just come to one country, especially Germany, our second home. Hands in the air, here we go. We aren't just a thrash band, we've had many different styles of music over the years and I just had to get that out of my system, I had to get that acoustic thing out, just, I, have, I think it's a personal thing, just to say, hey, check these songs out, see if you, you know, just see what you think and the, whatever, just a different side of us that a lot of people may not know about. And also a live concert DVD that we're uh, filming very soon and with the mini documentary footage too. So trying to put a nice package together for fans. And we have uh, some Canadian shows and uh, what else? Headline, a second leg, second round of our um, last record, Suicide Society's uh, touring. We're back to Europe for a few months doing uh, late October, November. We sort of don't look too far ahead. You have to plan far ahead, but you never know, our things change all the time and but we're just lucky that nothing's really der derailed us. We've been able to keep going for so long and almost take it for granted, right?